This weather report brought to you by Specsavers. It's good to have another look. Should have gone to Specsavers. To Friday Finance Now and shares, commodities and the Australian dollar are all weaker heading into the weekend. Here's business reporter Chris Kohler. It was a down day and a down week on the market, but there were a few winners. Shares in retailers like Coles, Woolworths and Bunnings owner West Farmers rose today, but weighing the market down were mining companies. In fact, BHP, Rio Tinto and Fortescue shares are now all at their lowest point for the year. And that weakness was thanks to the price of iron ore. It's fallen all the way down to $100 US a tonne, which is a concern because it's Australia's biggest export, and a year ago it was worth $200 a tonne. The price of oil is still hovering near $100 a barrel and gold is just above $1,700 an ounce, also at its lowest level of 2022. And to make it a clean sweep, the Aussie dollar was also lower, buying 67 US and Euro cents and it's now below 57 British pence. Thank you, Chris. It's time for the latest weather forecast now with Alice Monfries. Alice, welcome back home to Adelaide. It was nice to see a bit of blue sky for your first day back. Oh, thanks, Kate. It was, wasn't it? It was really nice to ease back in with some beautiful pockets of sunshine today. But those patches of high cloud did keep the temperature down a little bit. We reached a top of just 14.8 today after a low overnight of 6. And it's sitting at around 11 degrees at the moment. It was dry and clear across the suburbs today too. We managed to make the mid-teens in most areas. A little cooler though in the hills, just 9 degrees at Mount Lofty. It was a cold start in our north this morning too, below zero in Roxby Downs, Broken Hill and Port Augusta, but most places warmed up to the mid to high teens. A few splashes overnight around Kangaroo Island and Roe, but otherwise clear and dry in the south today too. But the rain is on our doorstep. You can see here on the satellite that cold front making its way towards us. That's the reason we're in for a reasonably wet weekend. It is looking dry over on the east coast tomorrow though, 16 degrees for Sydney and 21 for Brisbane. Back home here, a sunny start up north before that rainy weather arrives, sweeping through south of Woomera, 14 degrees for Clare and 16 for Maitland. It'll also hit the south of the state later in the day and the winds then will also really pick up, particularly along the coast where there's a possible thunderstorm. There is a gale warning in place for the lower southeast coast and strong wind warnings for much of the state's coastline, including the Adelaide metro waters, where winds will pick up late morning to 30 knots, becoming northwesterly and seas to two and a half metres. Across the suburbs tomorrow, there's a tiny chance of a shower in the morning, but we'll mainly see that rain arrive after lunch. Some areas of the hills could see up to 15 mils fall, a little less on the plains. Tops of 15 for Elizabeth and for Norlunga. Here in the city, we should reach 16 degrees. And look, if you're heading to Adelaide Oval for the footy, I would be packing a brolly for sure. Those showers will continue to hang around on Sunday with a top of 14, but they should ease by Monday. And the rest of next week is really looking pretty dry. It's also looking pretty cold. Temperatures dropping back into the low teens with tops of just 13 on Monday, 12 on Tuesday. So Kate, nice and dry but a very cold start to next week. It is looking very cold indeed. Alice, thank you so much. And that is Nine News for this Friday. You are now up to date. I will have developments through the evening and of course Will McDonald joins you over the weekend. Thanks so much for your company. Enjoy your evening. Good night.